The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video, I'm back at the gym, it's Friday morning, I'm doing the gym three days a week now, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, it's a combination of uh, cardio and weights, so I spend about 40 to 45 minutes on the row machines and the uh, walking machines, that sort of thing, then I spend about an hour and 15 minutes doing um, lifting weights, I'm trying not to lift too many heavy weights at the moment, my eye surgeon has told me though, I can go back to normal, but psychologically in the back of my mind, lifting heavy weights is why I got my original retinal tear in the first place, because of the pressure in the eye. I'm taking it really easy, I'm doing light light weights. Today I'm jumping back into uh, Les Mills Body Combat. This time I want to try these with a Quest Pro. So these are VR boxing gloves. Um, I'll leave a link to the company who make these uh, below this video. I have featured these before, before I had my eye operation and I featured these at the same gym on the Quest 2. So today I'm curious to see how the Quest Pro controllers track with these because the Quest 2 controllers, as you know, they've got cameras in them. So the Quest 2 controllers use um, cameras to track I'm currently looking at the spot I normally stand to do VR and there's um, quite a few people in there so um, it's nine o'clock Friday morning this gym has got really busy since um, the last time I came over a year ago this is my third week back at the gym I'm starting to feel fit again starting to get back into shape and if you want to look really cool playing VR at the gym you need a pair of these because nobody's going to question what you're doing when you're boxing with these on. That's a fact. I don't have my DJI mics with me today, so I can't really record um, anything I do in the gym. So I'm going to leave it here. So the beginning of any journey is the best time to learn. So let's get some learning and let's get into it. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're gonna be starting with the slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range, soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go. Left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh yeah, yeah you got it. Cause look at your score, your score's already going up. And we wanna maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move, left uppercut and hold. Now the right, back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace, let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. 
Yeah, unwind. It feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're going to do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab. Right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now. Bang. You're going to wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top. Squeeze the controller. We're going to go jab and cross. Right and left. Jab. Cross. Right. Left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll. Let's get the core in. We're going to hit the triple shot. Right, left, right. Bang. Three, two, one. Go. Nice. And again. We say sit on the punch. That means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm. Right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo. Here it comes, a little quicker. Go, rolling, rolling, driving. Bend your knees. Instead of getting the swing of things. Four more, four, three, Two, one. Awesome. So let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Right, stunt, combat stance with the boxing guard. Left jab. Oh yeah, that yeah, target came out of nowhere. Come on, hit the jab, hit the target. So soft elbow, especially at the peak of the move. We want to move with the control. Now we're going to hit one left jab, one left slip. Slip out the way, go. So the slip is you want to move off to of a clock. Yeah, so as that wall comes towards you, get out of the way. So you're utilizing the muscles of your abdominals, you're softening the knees in your stance, and you're staying really aware. All right, here it comes. Jab and cross four times, left and right. Four, three. Now, jab and slip twice. Once, twice. Excellent, do that again. Really try and release your heel, especially when you throw the cross. You got that? Now release the heel. There. Release the heel. There. Awesome. Tuck your chin in as you slip. Hello, abdominals. Oh, man, that wall was so close there. All right, new move. We're going to hit squats. Step wide. Turn your toes out. Drop your butt down in line on the knees. And then stand up slowly. Drop, hold at the bottom. Isolating the quads and the glutes. Now, we're going to hit the squat a little bit faster. We go down and up. So lift your chest. Out to brace. Hips are square. Got a new move for you. Squat down. Stand up and hold. Open your arms out to the sides. In guard. Drop down. Stand up. And out. So it's like you're creating the letter T. It's a chest stretch. So we're going to do that with no pause. We go down and up. Seven more. See how quick it is. Try and hit that shape. So you want to squeeze your shoulder blades and spread your wings. I'm warming up the shoulders, baby. And hold. Great. The target's going to change. We're going to hit a left power hook. Go. Boom. Now your right side. Now your left side. Right? Speed. 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 Elbows are bent. Shoulders are engaged. You've got big rotation through your abdominals, through your hips, through your feet. Uppercut. Change the target. Up. Up. Oh, it's coming at us. Heart rate's lifting up now. It's a vertical strike. Forearm is in line with the center of the chest. Come up and under. Awesome. Last two and half. Right jab, let's get it, get it, go! Boom! 
or on the other side. No more surprises. Could be your best side. If you're a right-hander, like me, this is your best side. Two more. We're gonna hit that jab and that slow slip to the outside. Boom, bend Let's your knees, out, get out of the way. But how? Try to think about using your core like a boxer would. Slip out of the way, minimal movement, maximum range. All right, two more. You have what it takes. Full combo. Jab cross, slow, right, left, four. Now hit that jab and slip. Make it dynamic. Oi. Yep. So visualize something coming towards you, see it? And then get out of the way as quick as you can and come back ready to counter strike. Hit those targets. We do use the legs. Yeah, of course you use the legs. But think about it coming from the core. Last one. Nice work. All right. Front stands. Toes out, knees out, brace your abs. Drop the squat and hold. Butt right down by the knees and then drive up. Two more. Slow squeeze to the top through the glutes. Speed it up for four. Two more. Here comes the big chest stretch. Down up. Open the hands. Oh, that feels good. Try this. Squeeze between your shoulder blades as you extend the arms. We're going to do eight reps faster. Let's go. Eight. I love this bit. Four more. Three. All right, hold up. Right. Boxing guard, hands up. You see it coming? You're going to hit it with a right hook. Get it. Go. Left hook. Right hook. We're going to spread it up. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. The hook. One of the biggest power moves you're going to see. And it comes when you really turn your hip into the hook. Try that. Turn it in. That's it. Side to side. Release the heel. New target. Up the cut. Go, go, go. Are you bending your knees? It's really getting those shoulders rolling. I oh, know. Up the cuts are tricky. Keep doing them. You'll get it. Five, four, three, two, one. This workout is all about putting your body in the right position to load before you explode. Watch out for them random targets. I ain't kidding either. This has got a groovy beat. We're going to start with a little side slip. You're going to go to your left. Stop playing. Move it. Yeah, I like to dance in the shadow as well. Right. I think you know which way you could slip, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Left, left jab, slip right, right jab, slip left, slip right. Yep, it got faster. Left jab, right jab, slip and move. This is how we move around the ring. You gotta be able to move and strike. Okay, jab, power. So load body, think about grounding your feet to the floor, rolling your shoulder, turning the body. It's getting faster, it's about to get even faster. Unload, go. Shoulder rolling. Switching the core arm. You got it. You feel confident. A little swag, a little shoulder swag. All right, little combo. Three, two, one. Slip and move. Squat down. And coming. Four jabs. Four, three, two. Slip to the left. Now get down, get under. Four jabs. Load in, shoulders, core, full body weight. So the reason we're moving around is, you'll see when a boxer's in the ring, they learn to move their feet in the right position to be able to load power in the punch. Don't let me distract you, you got work to do. All right, uppercut. Load the shoulder. Roll your shoulder forward and then bring the punching shoulder forward. Like a figure of eight. Big hook. Now turn your hip and imagine you're hitting your hip into the target. Release the heel. All right, uppercut, so quicker. Lift. Right, left, big right hook, slip left, squat down, keep flowing, no hate, and uppercut, left, right, big right hook, slip left. If you want to make those M O V E S, you got to load the shoulders. 
Yep, it's slow. Yes, you've got time. Go big with your movement. Go big in the range. Now get into the legs. Squeeze your glutes as you push out of the squat. Dip and dive. Getting down. Tucking under. Standing up. Go. Oh, you're good at this now. Oi, big one. <laughs> you look like you're having a good time there. You're boogieing. So because it's slow, let's just focus on power. Come on. Not much that you really need to learn now, other than just perfecting your movement, enjoying it, cruising with it. See that? Rhythm's already changed, and you know it's about to get faster. We've been here before. Come on. Tuck your chin down a little bit. Drive the power from the shoulders. Yep, hello, shoulders. Yeah, you're still getting a workout. You just forgot because you're having such a good time, right? All right, we're going to mix it up now. Come on. Power shot, power shot. Remember that side slip. Get down on squat. All right, you're on your own now. Quick reactions. Just a few tips to maximize your technique. Remember your full range. And then bend your knees every time. So when you're slipping, you're still bending your knees. So you're slipping and crunching. And when you're squatting, you still want to brace your abs, keep your hips square and your chest lifted. Power strikes. Random strikes. Did you get them? Uppercut. Now roll in and under, change arm. Back to your right and back to your left. But try and hit these hooks and imagine you're hitting a big heavy punch bag, yep? Use all the power in your shoulders, your hip and your legs. Up, through the sky now. Turn the corner, drop out the way, get out the way. You're in the rhythm. I love it. M-O-V-E-S. And you certainly have some. Just remember to breathe out. Use your breath. Come on, breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Big side step. Oh, turn your body. So that was about a quick reaction. So we're still working on your motor skills. Still throwing random tugs every now and then just to see what your reaction timing is like. I'm looking at your combo score right now, and you are doing amazing. And look at that total leaderboard score. Wow, come on, hold on. We're nearly at the end now. Finish really big, come on. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Hit it, hit it. Oh, perfect. You're chasing excellence. Well, let's talk excellence. Because excellence isn't an accident, it's an attitude. So let's put that attitude to work. I think the freedom comes from the power in the punches and a lot of love in the legs. Left combat stance, we're gonna start. One jab and cross, uppercut left, uppercut right. Great. Left side, right side. 
We're not going to be moving with too much speed here. We're going to be focused on control. So we want great alignment and range in the jabs and crosses on the uppercuts because they're short range strikes. Bring the elbows close to the rib cage and then rotate the shoulders inwards and then upwards. Now get ready, a little slip to your right. Oh, one jab, one cross, one upper, one slip. Tuck the chin in and just move your upper body out the way. Keep your feet where they are. Great. Little speed now. Slipping, now hooking, squatting, stand up and hook with the back arm. Let's do that again. Left, right and left. Slip right and left. Left hook, get out the way and hook on the right. Base and level combo. If you're doing this right now, you've pretty much mastered everything you need to know about this track, apart from the squat challenge that's coming up pretty soon. Alrighty, so let's come into a nice wide front stance. We're gonna sit down in the squat for a long time. Let's go. Left jab, right jab, stay down in the squat. Now drop down both hands out to the side and drop down and out to the side. One left, one right. Keep your chest lifted. And every time you strike, do your very best to not let the knees buckle. So I like to push my knees out towards my little toes. You've got that rhythm going on now. That's it. Quick, 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 quick. Awesome. Ha! I know the legs are starting to bite. It's starting to burn. Come on, brace your abs. Keep the chest lifted. Now stand up. Put your left leg forward quickly. Jab cross up. Slip right and left. Hook left, squat down, stand up, hit right. What was that? I'm still sweating and I've got jelly legs from that long squat. So use this time now just to re-energize because you know you're going to have to do it all on the other side. I love this exercise. Feels really great. One, two, one, and two. We're creating a little bit of flow, heart rate before we transition. Come on, let's get the heart rate up now. Change side. Spoiler alert, the good stuff happens in the back half. Let's go. Right foot forward. We're gonna power these jabs and these uppercuts. Where do you put your shoulders? You put them behind every punch. And the way you do that is by transferring the weight from the front leg and the back leg. Rolling in and out. Roll the big knuckle over and then slip out the way. Slip into the left, dropping the right shoulder forward, crunching through the core, transferring the weight. Practice over, people. Let's add some speed and get smooth with that combo. One, two, three. Slip, slip. Now hook and duck. Left arm. Well done. If it feels like you're dancing with these punches, then you're getting it right. A little tip with the slip is keep your eyes up and your chin in. The reason you do that is so that you don't get knocked out by your next attack. Last one. Now let's go front stands. What's coming next? What's coming? Ooh, goody, a wall. A really long wall. Get down. Let's throw some jabs. So your knees are out, your chest is up, you're taking a big breath. T-punch, battle rope. And again, this is us, peeps. I know this is going to be some heat building in the lower body, but we're not here forever. It just feels like it. If it feels tough, then let's get tough. Let's get through this. You can do anything. It's even in the song lyrics. There's freedom at the end of this wall. Get up, people. Right leg forward. Three punches. Dance the shoulders. Slip, slip. Hook and duck. How good does it feel to come out of your legs? So good, so good. Well done, we're almost to the end. On that last uppercut, see if you can use your legs and drive out of the floor. Like really come up and launch it. Hey, nice, nice. There's freedom at the end of this with a big blue target. Time.
Boxing is going to be our predominant discipline. We're going to start with our left leg forward, and I'm going to support you all the way through. So we've got a left jab and a right cross. Full range, soft elbows, no power, but it does set you up for a jab, cross, jab. Let's go. Left, right, left. Now uppercut, one left, one right on the rhythm. Ba, 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 turn, in and up. Short range, vertical strikes, elbows into the rib cage. Full body training. Oh yeah, now we're moving on. Hook left and right, slip right and left. Hook left and right, but this time you've got to squat down. Get out of the way. <laughs> Stand up, sky punch. Back to the slip so your feet stay still. You only move your shoulders. Drop your butt back and down on the squat. Now as you hit the sky punch, try and get the hands directly above the line of the head and you can actually do that quite fast. That's it, play with it, take your time. And now, jab and cross. We're here for about 25 seconds or so. Tuck your chin. Let's start now hitting the center of the target. We wanna get the heart rate up. Work out in the shoulders, the muscles of the back, the muscles of the core. So let's get a little bit of power now. New move, this is the knee. I love this move. We need to grab with both hands now, pull left knee up. So you're bringing the arms down past the line of the thigh as the knee goes directly up. It's a little bit like the elbows and the knee almost meet. Now you can pull the arms down fairly quickly. Ready, go. Down fast as the knee comes up. Lean away from the strike. We're gonna do all that again on the other side, all right? Shake it off, you've got this. Jab and cross, right and left, go. Cruise, cruise. Now rotate the knuckles in and down so the elbow slightly goes to the outside. That's gonna work more muscles in the upper part of the shoulder and in turn, bring more power. Jab, cross, jab and hold, followed by the two uppercuts. Turn under. Now let's start using hips and legs for the uppercut. So bend the knees and then as the tight comes in and up, start to stand up a little higher. All right, now those power hooks, right and left. Slip left and right. Back to the power hook, and then squat down, stand up with the sky punch. On your own. Feels good, right? You can almost see yourself a little bit in the shadow wall. Don't forget to smile. I think any time you smile, <laughs> or is it a grimace? Makes things feel a little bit better, right? Excellent work. All right, jab and crosses now. So because it's a basic move, very simple, all we want to do is now commit to try and get the heart rate up. So tuck your chin, start to hit the center of the target. Come on, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself, hit it harder. You've got it, come on, hit it harder. Awesome. Breathe, here comes the right knee. Put more weight on your back foot to help your balance. Lift the chest, pull the arms down. Now brace your abs really hard because you're going to lean away a little bit. That's going to support the spine. So the knee comes directly forward of your hip. That's going to give you great alignment. Awesome work. Now, last part. Wide front stance. Here it comes. Here it comes. Punch it. Hooks. Now battle rope slams together, together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hook left and right. The battle rope slams, they must start high above the line of the shoulder, and then both hands come down past the outer part of your thighs. So you're bending your knees, you're bracing your abs, and it's like you're trying to slam or throw something down to the ground. Come on, you've got this one. You're finished with a power left hook. Great work. Time for you to bring your best self. Bring your power, bring your focus, bring your concentration. Start in a left combat stance. Squat, get out of the way. Now, stay down, chest up, brace your abs. Stay, stay, stay. Quickly, stand up, left jab, hit it. Now, squat down. In a moment, you're gonna see the green target. Stand up, now, and cross. Great, now, left to the head, left to the body. Now, left hook. Same thing on the right side. So you've got a right cross a right cross to the body, and then a right hook to the head. So that's your level changes. We go up, straight punch down, and hook. So naturally you want to do a hammer fist. Uh-uh. Stay with a straight arm jab to the body. 
beautiful because that's going to come at you even faster now, right? Up, down, and turn your body. Go. When I say turn your body, I mean release the hip and heel on the hook. Now you've got it. We're going to focus on mainly the head and the body. Go. Up, down, change. Up and down, change. So now let's work on range. So full extension. Keep your hands up. Keep the elbows soft. And let's get some speed training. Heavy hook left to the right. Ta ta ta. On the what? On the beat. On the ta ta ta. Go. Bring your best self. Tuck your chin. Elbows up. Uppercut. Three, two, and one. Freeze. Hit again. Three, two, and one. Freeze. Hit it again. Elbows close to your ribs. Rotate and roll the bodies forward. You're going to do the same thing, but you just add on a slip to your left. Go. Awesome. You don't move your stance. Stay with your feet still, but just tip your body to the left. Hello, obliques. One more time. Rachel, you're up. All right, catch that vibe, but let's put the right foot forward this time. Yeah, combat stance. Right leg. Knee soft. We're going to get down into the leg. Squat. Stay. Go. Chest up. Knees out. Breathe in, breathe out. Stand up and jab. Boom. Sit down. It's going to be a cross this time. Big cross. All right, head body. Hook time. Hey. So we're back to a little bit of power. Throw the cross. Throw the body. And now the big hook. How's that feel? There's a bit of space there. you got time to load the lower body and turn it into the punch. So release the heel. Turn the hip now. Now let's add a bit of pace to those combos. One, two, three. Is that beast mode? Hey, look, if you feel like you're in beast mode, you're in beast mode right now. All right, go, go, go. Just the head and body. Catch that combo. Stay on it. Drill it. Lift the elbow. Use the legs up and down. Use those levels. Big hook coming in. Right, left. Hey, double shots. So think about rotating the lower body to turn the hips into the punches. Here come the uppercuts, three uppercuts. Right, left, right. So think about rolling your shoulders like a figure of eight. It's almost like, you know, like you itch in between the shoulder blades. Now we're gonna add a slip to the right. Drop the shoulders, Hey, Ground your feet, bend your knees, and then move your upper body out of the way. So you're dodging those punches. One more uppercut, go. That felt good, catch that vibe. Let's go front stance, we've got one more bit to do. You can do this. Battle rope slam, double hand, right jab. Now this time, left jab. Bend your knees. So use your legs to get low and then drive out of the ground, squeezing your glutes to hit those jabs. They ain't shaky, they're ready to go. Let's have some pace, pow. When they say punch from the hip, they mean use your lower body to drive the power out of the ground. Let's add some pace. Non-stop, go! Feels good to slam it down, doesn't it? That's it, use the outside of the fist, the little fingers. Bend your knees, lift your chest. Double punch, and again, from the chest. Singles. Now look for the double hammers. That was good. Singles. And a big finishing blue target. Hit it, go! Hey. I got you and you got your gloves up. We are ready to go. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're gonna be starting with the slow left jab. Here comes the target. 
three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range. Soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go. Left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move. Left uppercut and hold. Now the right. Back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind. It feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're going to do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now. Bang. You're going to wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top. Squeeze the controller. We're going to go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll. Let's get the core in. We're going to hit the triple shot. Right, left, right. Bang. Three, two, one. Go. Nice. And again. We say sit on the punch. That means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm. Right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo. Here it comes. A little quicker, go. Rolling, rolling, driving. Bend your knees. Start to get in the swing of things. Four more, four, three, Two, one. Awesome. So let's move on. We're going to wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I right, said so just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Ah, oh, big move, eh? You clicked on to kill a Cyclops training. All right, well, let's see if you're ready for it. Front stands. There's a target coming. Don't miss the first one. Just saying. Just saying. Don't miss the first one. Where is it? Left side. Left side. Left side. Go, go, go. Well done. All right, now, where's it coming? Bottom right. Bottom right. Yep. Top right. Now, bottom left. So we're using one hand to punch opposing sides of the room. Bend your knees. Rotate the shoulder. Drive down. It's called a downward punch. Got a hammer to the top corner. Now use your core. A little bit faster. Watch this. Up and down. Oy. One smash to the corner and one drive down into the floor. So you're going to bend your knees and your lower body is going to feel like it's in a soft lunge. So imagine you're dominating the arena and you're driving that punch down into the ground like the superheroes do. Like the superheroes do? Yeah, like the superheroes do. Feel a stretch in your chest. Feel a little bit of heat in the legs if you got it right. And feel some cardio effect. Getting your hands over your head really brings that cardio. 
practice over, people. Left foot forward. Let's see what you got. Four power jabs. Left side. Now up and down. Left side. Twice. Back to the power jabs. Man, that feels good, doesn't it? It feels good, but it doesn't look so good right now. Can you, like, lift your elbow a little? Yes. Lift your... Now you're talking. Get that knuckle right in the middle of the target. Now shift your body weight forwards and back. Lean into that jab. Lean in, lean in. Not lean back. Lean in. Now lean in. Push off that back foot. That's it. I know heart rate. Hey, heart rate. Whoops. All right, we're going to do that again. Rachel was the hero. I don't mind being the villain. I don't mind being the person that's going to push you. I don't mind being the person that's going to challenge you. Come on. Now this target. Top right. Yeah, where is it? Come on, turn hip, shoulder, now, boom. You've even got to release your heel, try that. Look at it, look at it, release, heel, turn, and whip. Excellent. So let's spend a little bit of time on this side now, trying to get some full range. We want to maximize muscle usage. We want to pin in the shoulders, the back, the legs, the core. Don't settle for anything less than your very best. Come on, I'm not here to wrap you up in cotton wool. I'm here to push you. You put your right leg forward. Now the jabs. Oh yeah. Come on, take it out on the targets. Take your frustration out on the targets. We never keep anything built up on the inside in life. Let's not let that happen. Let's not be that person. Come on, that's why we do something like this. We externalize the force outwards. Yeah. And so by the time we finish this, we're going to feel really great about ourselves and about our environment. Come on! Now lean into the strike. That's how you're going to get more weight behind every single punch. Great. So now we're going to continue that alignment, continue the range, come into a nice wide front stance. We're going to be alternating these targets. You know what to do. Just hit the center of them. Good, you got that one. Yep, you got that one. I'm looking at your combo score right now. Oh, yep. See, you're not missing. You're dialed in. You're focused. You're a winner. Yes. Dig deep now. Come on. Just you and the rhythm of the music. Things are about to get faster. Rach says, put on your superhero outfit. I say, wear any outfit. Ready for the triple shot? Go. Three. Two, same arm, same side. Now switch it, now switch it. Left side. That's an up, down, all around kind of workout. We're going big with intensity. And there's something about standing your ground and going three times in a row that feels really dominant. Boom. Bend your knees, come on, reach up. Get on your toes. If you're short like me. Well done. Smashed it. Okay guys, so as you can see, the gloves worked really, really well. Um, this time I did my weights and everything before my cardio. Also, I had a word with the staff. I told the staff what I was doing. Uh, they were fine with it. They told me to leave my YouTube channel and the video um, on the notice board so that other people in the gym could see what I was doing. My excuse now is I can't kickbox anymore. So this is allowing me to box at the gym in a safe environment with no more repercussions of um, anything bad happening to my eyes so I did a bit of a longer workout today I tend to do a bit more um, on a Friday just before the weekend 
These gloves worked a lot better than I was expecting with the Quest Pro controllers. So I've got a feeling I'm going to be using these again. And you do look really cool when you're boxing with gloves on. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a VR headset, you still look like a badass. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. As I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. But I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. So you tried to salvage it? Nathy, <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. 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 that roast! Hey. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. By you. <laughs> 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 Might want to um, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> she's really. His eyes have been no, fixed. Around. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the oh, off track. Holy PD, Steve. I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <Jack. We're> sorry, <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, man. PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally thrown off by that. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>